We live on the moon with limited resources and a lot of superpowers. So it's a, it's a very interesting dynamic. The following program. Modern style. Marvels and Humans, we like to talk about it as sort of this uh, very human drama set in an inhuman world. You see how our superpowers are not necessarily just something that is a celebratory, wonderful thing. It can also be a bit of a burden. So they live in a, in a sort of, in a caste system. You basically, you, at, at about 14, you go through this pterogenesis process, which then defines your role in the inhumans world. So if you get a rubbish power, like having claws for hands or whatever, you end up down in the mines. And if you're if you get it flying, then you you go up to the top of the the, the caste system. I play Maximus in Marvel's Inhumans. Terragenesis has rendered him a human. It got rid of the inhuman gene in him, so he's just a human, which basically means that he should have gone down to the lower caste system, but he was the brother of the king. People basically see him as the lowest of the low. Um, being human is the worst possible thing that can happen to you, and Maximus fundamentally disagrees with this. It's a battle between the two brothers with opposing views, but both you completely understand, so it's really interesting. Neither is a villain, neither is a hero. They can't live on the moon forever. Their resources are running out, so they need to somehow figure out a way to integrate into the human world. He wants to abolish this archaic caste system which has hundreds of people living in misery for the benefit of the top you know, the, the, the higher caste. It's a very interesting dynamic, and obviously the Inhumans have been around since 1965, so there's a lot of history there. Um, but we've kind of picked it up between the turmoil that's within the family and uh, seeing where that leads. My character is a king who, whose voice is so powerful, if he spoke, it would level a city. He would kill his people if he spoke to them. So I just have fabulous hair. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Everyone's like, it's a burden. I can't I'm really like, find not the flaw for me. I have Medusa. incredible hair. Brushing, braiding, <laughs> shampoo. That's the flaw. My shampoo and Grooming problems. bills are so high. <laughs> you have no idea. And trying to get it to the moon. You know that FedEx? I mean, Amazon is charging me through the roof.